for her first ever appearance on daytime TV. Tam fam, welcome Letitia Wright. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. wow. Listen, oh. <laughs> oh my, have a oh my seat. Goodness. Oh, see oh. what you miss on daytime? You're going on all those nighttime shows, and this is the love. This, this, this is, is the love. Oh Welcome. What a pleasure to have you on. Thank you. I, I mean, we'll talk about the work, and, and the work is great. Thank you. But the heart and this journey, your openness about taking roles that only spoke to your spirit. Take me to that point in your career. What did it feel like around you? What were you feeling was not aligned right? It was my desire to be accepted, mm. but I wasn't fully fulfilled in who I was. I saw the actors and I saw the fame and I saw the, the, the notoriety and I wanted that, but I wasn't fulfilled within who God made me to be. I doubted myself every day. Um, when I booked a job, I couldn't enjoy that job because I was thinking of the next thing I wanted and I wasn't in a place of gratitude and I wasn't in a place of receiving exactly what God had for me. So it, 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 it started to play on my mental health and it was that decision I made in Toronto. I had a film out there at the Toronto Film Festival. I thought that things were going well and I heard this small, quiet voice tell me to that I'm gonna take a step back from acting. And I, I thought this voice was crazy. <laughs> um, and I did, I took a step back and it was one of the bravest things I have I ever had to do yeah. because I got so many people telling me how, uh, something goes wrong. Yeah. I had agents at the time emailing me like, Is, are you okay, are you, do you need money? Like what's going, what's going on? on? Like, and, but they couldn't understand that in order for me to feel fulfilled, I needed to take a step back and it was what I did. You received a high honor. Thank you. In 2019, you received this huge honor, the Rising Star Award from the British Academy. This is a massive award. Yes. And in your speech, you said, there might be some of you here that's going through depression, that's going through a bad time, and you're putting a smile on your face, and nobody can see that. But you know it, and God knows it. I just want to encourage you, and I just want to say that God loves you, and just let your light shine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, this show is about identity and labels. Mm. What were you carrying? Mm. What was the title you were calling yourself that you wanted to erase? Um, that I wasn't worthy enough. Mm. Um, that I wasn't beautiful enough. That I wasn't talented enough. So your titles and things you were carrying were tearing your self-esteem yeah. down. Yeah. That you weren't good enough. Mm -hmm. Self-doubt. Um, lack of acceptance of the, the, how fearfully and wonderfully I'm made mm. in God's image. Um, I'm now going through a, a, a fresh identity change of, of how God's teaching me to be a leader, um, to, say, to say no in ways that I, I never thought I would before. But back then, the main thing was that I, w I felt like I wasn't good enough and I had to tear those, I had to tear those lies yeah. down right. um, and build it back anew with God. Wow. You built it back anew <laughs> in a beautiful way. Yeah. More with Letitia Wright when we come back. We're back with Letitia Wright. You talk about the road and the challenges and the ups and downs. I know that you suffered an injury uh, on, say, you had the shoulder fracture yes. and a concussion while filming stunts for the new Black Panther. Yes. Um, and you had to take some time away from the set, and you said that you could hear the late, great Chadwick Boseman talking to you. Yeah. Another voice that you heard. Yeah. What did he say to you? Man, um, as you guys know, Black Panther is, is, is a blessing to my life. Shuri is a, a, is a blessing not only to me, but to the world and to so many black um, young girls. Yeah. And. I, I always promised God if I stepped back into acting, I would, I would, do, I would do projects that felt honorable 
and and as a kid I always wanted to inspire when I saw Kiki Palmer I wanted I wanted to inspire the world the way Kiki Palmer inspired me and Shuri was the was was the first time I got to do that on a massive scale right so when this 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 unfortunate event happened and I had to take about three months out I went back home uh, my mom received me um, with tears in her eyes and I just had to sit with myself and mm. and decide you know how are you going to bounce back from this? How are you going to get back onto this set to fulfill your purpose um, that God blessed you with? And, and, and I could hear my brother just tell me that I could do it. I didn't feel like I could do it. I didn't feel like I could go back. So you heard Chadwick say, yeah. you can do this. And I admire, and, and in those moments, I admired his journey even more because he dealt with something that we didn't know about until he passed away. Um, and... Um, you know, I'm trying to, you know, contain it, but I never got to say goodbye to my brother. So just going through that, that situation, it was, another, it was another opportunity for leadership and strength to come out and just for him to be such a leader at a time when, you know, he was facing so much. And I just felt like once I got the healing I, I needed and I went back, I finished stronger. Yeah. So I'm so excited yes. for you guys to see yes. it. Yes. <laughs> You know, it's so interesting because the layers of your journey are so beautiful. And part of that started with your admiration of another actress, Kiki Palmer, who yes. I love. Uh, you saw Akila and the Bee. Yes. And you saw what you wanted. Yeah. And, and like you said, it's so interesting. You are such a regal person. Kiki's been on the show. You both have this energy, the same flow. Wait a minute. Is Kiki, wait, did Kiki do something special? Take a look. What's up, Letitia? It's your girl, Keeks. And hey, Tamron, too. Um, but Letitia, I just wanted to say what's up, girl. And thank you for all the support you've always shown me. It was so good to finally meet you at the Note premiere and share our love in person. But it just means so much to hear from a peer. So thank you for all the love. And I'm going to be running to the theaters to see Black Panther because I know you're going to be killing it. <laughs> I mean, I'm coming back to this show. It's my favorite show. You mean Kiki wow. met you? You what is that like when you finally get to say thank you? And then she said, "No, thank you yeah. for what you've done." Oh my goodness! She allowed me to see a part of myself that I didn't know existed. Oh. She showed me what it meant to be a beautiful, smart young black girl yeah. at the age of like fifteen or something. So that opportunity. To, to meet her because for years I've just been giving her her roses, you know, without being able to physically meet her. Yeah. I've been giving her her roses and saying thank you from afar, but now, you know, Note oh. Premier is here. Daniel's <laughs> one of my best friends. Um, and I get to meet Kiki. And the first thing I do is just, I know all of her family members. I'm like, Lauren, mama, <laughs> like, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just in awe of the fact that she inspired me yeah. to do acting. And yeah. I said to her, and I said to her family, I said, she's the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Oh, wow. <laughs> and right now, there is a little girl or a little boy watching who will say, you are the reason. They are saying, wow. you are the reason that wow. they're trying. Even if it's not acting, they just see your regalness, your elegance, your strength, and they are inspired. Just like that. I wrote you the card. You are an inspiration.